hello everyone so in this video i will show you the example of gpsr so uh, gpsr packet uh, structure is this one the first uh, field actually carry the destination second field will carry the point this will be filled by the point where our greedy parameter will fail lf this is the point uh, on xv where packet entered the current phase uh, which we will see with the help of example then it will be more clear to you e0 this is the first stage on current phase and m is the mode this mode can be greedy or this mode can be parameter so initially when a node send a packet their mode is set to greedy so we are having this network and this node s is having only a single neighbor and this node s has to send a data to node d so initially this packet will be having destination d so instead of this d location of destination is put in this packet and the mode of this packet is marked as greedy so in greedy forwarding s will forward this packet to its neighbor which is more closer to destination d as the node s itself so s will forward this packet to a now a will check its table and uh, a will compare its neighbors with itself whether their neighbor is more closer to d or not so a is not having any neighbor which is more closer to d as compared to a so at this point of time our greedy forwarding will fail so this node will mark this packet as p uh, it means that now parameter forwarding is going to be used and at this point at this node greedy forwarding fails so in the second field this node uh, information will be inserted so in the parameter forwarding how this gpsr works so before understanding that one let's uh, understand interior and exterior faces so uh, in network every closed poly Polygon or open polygon. So closed polygon known as interior face, and the open one is known as exterior face. And how GPRS, GPSR use parameter forwarding? So let's see this example. X wants to send a data to D, and at the X, this greedy forwarding is failed. So from X packet has to be forwarded in parameter forwarding or in parameter mode so uh, this line is denoting the x d uh, in the direction of d so uh, this line is crossing three faces one two three this these two are interior and the middle one is exterior so three faces are there now how this x will forward the packet x will forward its packet only to the node which are connected to these faces so x is having two option either this one or this one so how x will decide x will use the right hand rule here and uh, how x will decide from this line from this line it will see in anti clockwise direction which edge is coming so this edge is in the anti clockwise direction so x will forward its packet to this node now this node uh, receiving a packet from this edge and this node can transmit or can forward this packet to node and the next node is this one or this one because these two nodes are only nodes in this phase so how it will be decided again uh, right hand rule is used so in anti 
clockwise direction this as is there and similarly here in anti clockwise direction this as is there so if you can see uh, packets are forwarded nearby the xt so the same we are going to use here so a now going to forward this packet in the parameter mode and the third and fourth field so third field says that the first node in the current phase so this is the current phase which is crossed by this line and a is the first point in the current phase so a will be inserted here and the fourth field is the first as in the current phase so this e actually denoting as between a and b now a will forward its packet to at this edge because right hand rule is used in anti clockwise direction this as is there this packet will be forwarded to b now what b will do b will see that this node a is the point where greedy parameter forwarding got failed so now b will compare its distance to node d and it also compare the distance between node a and node b so if the distance between b and d is less less than the distance between a and d in that case b will start using greedy forwarding but here this is not the case b is not closer to node d so b will continue in parameter forwarding and in anti clockwise it will forward its packet to c now uh, what c will do c will see that okay this uh, greedy forwarding got failed at node a because node a was not having any neighbor which is more closer to destination so now c will compare its distance between uh, from node d and it will compare this distance with the distance between a and d so this distance is less so what this node c will do this node c will change the mode to greedy because now the route is available parameter is only used to avoid the situation where a packet cannot be forwarded in greedy mode so now node c will forward this packet to node d and this packet is successfully delivered to node d thank you very much for watching